All right, well, this is what I'm calling the looper riding the rails. And I was inspired by Tensa Koala to uh, build up a board with a plus and a minus rail and then build up your circuit between the plus and minus rails. And this particular looper circuit is perfect for that application. And this is the uh, Laser Saber SAR Looper 4.0. And I made a smaller transformer here using uh, just uh, fine magnet wire. It's a 42 gauge fine magnet wire. And it's round up on a smaller bobbin with that ferrite uh, covering core over it. I think they call it a pot core. And it's running. And this is what it sounds like. And what I went to here was a 440 um, electrolytic, microfarad electrolytic, uh, 35 volt cap. And uh, for the demonstration purposes on a little project like that, that worked out great. Uh, the little capacitor, which you probably can't even see down in there, is a 68 picofarad capacitor. And that's the uh, capacitor I went to on the circuit. Uh, the diode is a 1N914 switching diode. And uh, then uh, on the transform, instead of the Litz wire, I went to this uh, regular magnet wire. And it works just as great. Now, this is the original one I showed in my last video with the Litz wire and the bigger transformer. This is better. And it's just simply a case of what you want to do with... Uh, the project and how far along you want to take it but the better the transformer the better the performance I've decided and it just depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to go for uh, this will run for hours uh, at a low blink like this with that 440 uh, microfarad um, capacitor filled up with the 9 volt battery and then of course if I touch the capacitor here it goes on bright. But of course I'm bleeding off energy at the same time. So that won't run for a long time, but it does run. Now this one here, same thing. I built the board on this so that if you touch the uh, capacitor right here, the LEDs come on bright. And that's the effect that I was going for was this... Uh, touch device that when you touched it it went on bright and I just thought that was the coolest thing so I made this board here with those rails those uh, little brass wire rails and put the whole circuit between the rails and that worked out real good uh, when this is charged up with the battery here and running this is drawing right now uh, two and a half microamps. That's the amp draw. When I touch the capacitor, this goes up to a few milliamps, and of course that drains that 440 cap down in a hurry. So when I do that, I'm bleeding off that cap pretty darn quick. So when you build these things up, just realize what you're doing is you're using energy out of that cap when you go across that capacitor there with something and it's going to bleed it right down. It doesn't run forever. It's just a very interesting little project that shows the dynamics of a uh, tank circuit, as an efficient tank circuit. Listen to this when I hit the capacitor, what it does to the frequency here. Hear that bleeding down? Now you can't hear it at all, hardly. Barely. Unless I give it some more juice here. But, with that 440 cap, it goes back up in a hurry. So anyway, I'm calling this the, uh, the looper riding the rails and I'm lid motor and this is uh, May 13th 2015 and the circuit is by laser saber 
and this is one I highly recommend that uh, the folks interested in electronics build up one of these little oscillators. That is a lot of fun. It doesn't take a lot of time, and um, the transformer is very forgiving. Some of the guys are doing it very, very different than I am, and it still works. So just follow the basic diagram, and uh, I'm using like a 2 to 1 ratio on the windings, which the other guys are too, but it's not critical, and uh, it's very forgiving little circuit, and a lot of fun to play with. Thanks for watching.